Hi, Stephen Caleb from Brownells here with a quick tip on how to choose the right optic for your firearm. And really, there's a lot to go into. Tell us about it a little bit. Yeah, so whenever you're getting into optics, you just bought a new rifle, or even if you're an experienced shooter, the scope market can certainly be overwhelming, uh, especially nowadays there's so many different types and brands and things like that of optics out there. Uh, the key point is that you can get too much scope for what you're doing, and you can certainly get not enough scope for what you're doing. So choosing the right optic for you is key. Now, there's a lot of different things that go into it. You know, some scopes are a lot heavier than others. Uh, you have your precision shooting scopes, you have scopes that are great for hunting. So the key thing here is to define the purpose. What are you going to be using it for? And then in that price range, I'll of course always recommend buying the best one you can afford. Uh, so you don't necessarily have to break the bank and take out a loan just to you know, bullseye those, those sure. wamperettes uh, on Alderaan or anything like that. But you can certainly get a good optic in your price range. Right, don't buy an expensive firearm that's capable of great accuracy and then buy a $40 scope because yeah. the two are not gonna marry up well. Yeah, so you know, let's say you're doing some hunting. Uh, you're hunting whitetail or something like that. Your longest shot's gonna be uh, pushing it maybe 250 yards. Mm -hmm. In that range, I would recommend something like a three to nine by 40 as far as magnification goes. Um, it doesn't have to be exactly that, but something around that range would do great for you. Uh, as far as objectives go, I usually recommend trying to stay around the 40 millimeter range because a larger objective is going to give you a wider field of view. You don't necessarily need a huge field of view in a 3 to 9. No. Um, if you can, step up to a 30 millimeter tube versus the 1 inch tube that's going to give you better light and uh, low light conditions like morning and evening. And um, that's basically it. And that those key features get the best one you can afford because in optics you definitely get what you pay for as far as the quality of the glass and clarity and things like that go. Right, and another thing I recommend to people is on your 22, put a nice piece of glass on there. Spend a little money on it because it's the thing you shoot the most. So look at it that way also. Not only performance, but what am I gonna get the most use out of? So if you've got a 22 rifle you take out, you know, every weekend or something, put a good scope on that. You know, you're gonna use your deer, deer rifle maybe once, twice a year, but the 22 is all year long for some people. Yeah, absolutely, and you know, planking, being able to see that target clearly just makes it way more fun. Yeah, it's it add, it adds another level of a uh, of fun factor to it, and you know, for doing precision shooting and things like that, you may want to look at something that's higher power, uh, something that goes up to like a 25 or whatever, depending on what range right. you're shooting at. You're going to want adjustable parallax. Um, some adjustable turrets, things like that, which you don't necessarily need on a hunting rifle. No, you don't. And uh, another thing about 22s I should mention, almost forgot, is get a rimfire scope. Those are calibrated a little differently than a regular centerfire yep. scope. So make sure you're hunting for a rimfire version when you do that. Yeah, and be careful with basically any scope that has you know bullet drop compensation and things like that in it, because that's not exact because it's geared for a specific, you know, FPS. Uh, it's geared for a specific bullet weight and things like that. So if you're going to go that route, make sure you have the proper setup to support it. Right now, if you're shooting an AR-15 in, in 223 or 556, there's a bunch of scopes out there that mm -hmm. are calibrated just for that and work really well. Yeah, and so if you have any questions on optics or you want to add anything to it, I know we didn't really have time to cover the nitty and gritty here, but we can certainly help you out. Uh, so feel free to leave a comment down below or give us a call on the tech line. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.